What's going on guys? Thank you so much for jumping in to this video slash broadcast today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music video, and we are here in another wonderful episode of Missing Links. I am joined with the one, the only, Illuminati, aka the dude. What's going on, Illuminati? Not much. How you doing, man? I'm doing just fine. Thank you guys all for jumping in. I see a lot of names already jumping in live. It is, uh, as long as you guys are cool with this whole Missing Links thing, me and Illuminati are going to continue to do it. Um, so far, uh, a lot of you guys like it, me and the dude, aka Illuminati. Uh, we've been bringing a lot of information to you guys, and this is the third episode. And we've been doing it in a kind of an order, a certain specific order, as uh, we feel it's best to kind of uh, project the information right. And then once you guys start to see how it all comes in together, I think a lot of people will be uh, intrigued and definitely willing to help well, spend some of their time with trials and errors. Now, the last two episodes we talked about uh, were a lot about the peyotes, but we made sure to show one key factor, one common denominator, and that, you guys might remember, was Trevor. All right, not, a lot, not just with Trevor, but with... Uh, a lot of symbolism with Trevor. We have Trevor with the uh, with the beast logo on his back. We know the same things in this house. I don't have time in this episode to go over everything we've talked about. So if you guys missed all that, I really highly recommend you guys checking out um, episodes one and two of Missing Links, and then you'll have a better idea. But until then, if you haven't watched it, just trust us that Trevor is a huge part and connection to the peyotes and that is also going to lead into the next step all right because there's reasons for all the stuff that we have in this game you know there's there's uh, some mystical reason why peyotes are even in this game and we kind of touched on that but we left it open and we're going to get into another section now another topic but as the episodes go on of these missing link episodes you'll notice how they'll come back together and go full circle if you will and you'll see exactly how all this makes sense so just give it time if you aren't really understanding right off the bat why we're doing it this way so hopefully you guys will have faith and understand that we're here to help and that this mystery in GTA 5 will be solved sometime because we got a lot of great hunters out there a lot of people putting in the work if you guys are on the Xbox don't forget to join up uh, the <clears throat> um, the Xbox Club it's called Chiliad Mystery, and if you're on the PlayStation 4, don't forget to join the community solving the Chiliad Mystery, where you can get together with a whole bunch of other hunters with similar mindsets and the same goals of looking for Easter eggs and trying to solve the mystery. And you'll find out more about the mystery if you're new. You'll find out exactly uh, you know, what it is, how it started. A lot of people there are willing to help, willing to give you their time to go ahead and keep, get you up to date and keep you in the loop as we all try to uh, unite as a unit and solve this insane over four year long uh, mystery that Rockstar has incorporated within their game. So, <clears throat> without any further ado, Illuminati, let's go ahead and bring up the topic of today. If you guys noticed the thumbnail, uh, it has to do with money and stocks. And, uh, you know, we get this helicopter in the game and it's, it's funny because this helicopter is tied to money if you uh, look at it that way with the heists and all that stuff, right? So, uh, exactly how does this tie into everything? Well, we're going to go ahead and let Illuminati talk for a second. We're going to show you guys a video on YouTube that I brought up a million times before. And we're going to actually have you guys stare and uh, look at a Scrabble board if you will. So we got a lot of fun stuff packed for today's video. Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick shout out for everyone that's jumped in really quick and then we'll let Illuminati aka the dude take the show. What's good on GTA Gaming TV 23? How you doing? Kairos Power, what's up buddy? What's going on Sam Olds and how are your titties? What's going on Rocky91? Uh, what's up Trig Josh? What's up Krishan the Don? What's up Emmanuel Merrifield? What's up, old Brittany? What is going on, everybody? Thank you guys all for jumping in. I really do appreciate it. All right, so, Illuminati, as Trevor scratches his uh, genitalia, what exactly 
is going on and why should we invest in red? What's going on with uh, with the money and stuff? Like, what, what would you say your whole entire experience with it is and what are your thoughts? And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, one thing I've been trying to do with this game is look at what can actually be manipulated what can't i mean there's there's really only so many things that you could actually do in game but um in in part of that would be you know stocks and stuff like that um you make a good point you make a good point like with the dialogue can change at times but but what are we actually changing right like you're you're actually bringing up a really solid point you know, it's kind of gold. No pun intended to the achievement or trophy of solid gold. But I'm just saying, like, you do bring up a good point, right? What can we change in the game, guys? We're looking for triggers. We're looking to activate stuff. Well, we do have a stock market. And one of those stock market pages are actually a, a living stock market within the game and players. Um, and I, I can't remember which one that one is. Do you remember which one that is, the dude? Uh... The two stocks, there's uh, the... Um, Bossack? And Bossack, yeah. Yeah, those those guys, if you didn't notice, uh, or if you didn't know this, that is, uh, that is right. Like, you can use those stocks in their real, their real time. Like, uh, if a new car comes out in GTA Online, uh, that, that would be a time right before that car comes out to go ahead and put your stocks into, like, Los Santos Customs, for example, because you know that a lot of people are going to be getting that car, modifying, uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> so um, look into it. It's pretty interesting. I played this game for four years and had no idea that there was actually a living stock market um, part to this game uh, with all the players. Now, the rest of the websites in the stock market are not like that. They are just in-game, and it's kind of based, if you if you ask my opinion, for story mode. But uh, story mode is where a lot of people think the triggers and activations are going to happen for solving of this mystery. Uh, in the in-game phone right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. we got the BOSSEC and we got the LCN. And it's, it's, it's just completely ridiculous. We can go ahead and uh, show you guys the information on different websites showing you guys how this is actually real. But you can look right here. Bossack is powered by Rockstar Games Social Club. So if you're tied to the Social Club, you are definitely going to want to take a closer look at this right here. We know that cash is king, as the game says. And Illuminati could not have nailed it better than saying, what else can we change in the game? What's something that we could physically change? You know, if you want to alter the game at all, well, one way we can definitely do that is with the stock market. And the one thing that is always fluctuating is the cash and that is one thing that Rockstar does target all the time is money. Money, 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 money. Shark cards and just money, 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 guys. So uh, I like the direction you're going with uh, with this and we'll get to the point of Trevor being a prime example of of what we might need to do and who we need who we may need to play as as well. And we'll get to that in a minute too. Illuminati, do you want to go ahead and bring up anything else concerning any of this stuff uh, before we go ahead to the next step? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was just double-checking. And, yeah, if you're, say, in, even in single player, you go offline, it's going to take away the boss sack. You're not going to be able to look at it. It's, it's going to say, you know, it's offline at the moment. So even in single player, you know, it's, they're looking at what you're doing with the stock market. And I, I do believe they took it offline. Like, you can't look at the stock market online anymore. That's interesting. That is really interesting. I should... Let's so Actually, I don't even know if I knew about that. That's... We'll, we'll take a look at that closer to the end, because I want to stay closer to this vehicle for a minute. Um, yeah. Um, I do have... That's good um, stuff, though. When, when it comes to, say, Trevor and stuff, he, he does make a point that this isn't his helicopter. It's the biz heli. It's not his. Like he's not the one gaining from it. It's not, you know, his possession, but he he can use it. Right. He does say that this is his business helicopter and we have uh we have it as what TPE, Trevor Phillips Enterprises. And uh one thing that you mentioned to me before, uh you know, in one of our conversations a while ago was 
that Trevor seems to be the one that's really business oriented. He's the one that's always wanting to do something with a business. He has his little meth factory or meth business at the at the house with chef and everything. And then you have uh, him, you know, always wanting to, to continue on. And then we have the option to buy businesses at uh, the end of the game. We can start to own our own businesses, and that is a lot of where choices come into play yet again. We're talking about how money is like the the stock market's like the choices. Well, again, with money, uh, being able to choose which characters buy which properties. Some of them are only able to be purchased by certain characters, like Michael's the only one that can buy, I think, the movie theaters. But there's some of them that are up for grabs, like the, the scrap, the car scrap company, I think, Trevor... Or Franklin can buy that. I think that the golf course might be able to be bought by all three of them. Um, so there are some that you have to wonder, well, which one's the right answer? Is there a right answer? Who is more business-oriented? And a lot of the clues, in my opinion, point directly to Trevor. And if you guys want to take a look at something in a second, we'll go ahead and show you how it points to Trevor even further. And it's pretty crazy. Uh, Illuminati, do you want to go ahead and talk about that? And we'll go into that and how you came to that and everything. Um, well, yeah. I mean, everything they throw at us from the beginning. Um, you got TPE, Enterprises Map. You've got all the little stock things all the way throughout the game. Um, and some of even what we have to do throughout the game, too. Right. Um, certain things point out certain characters as well, like the music. And we I've been talking on this channel a lot about sound for a very long time. And you notice something when it comes to uh, a certain song that I've been pointing out for a while as well. Like, uh, you know, the heist. Like, we have the heist to set up, right? Um the big one and the, the big score okay a score could be not only a heist but a piece of music and then you have uh the music at the end of the game depending on which option you choose keep them all alive kill michael or kill trevor uh you get a different ending and a different song plays at the ending and depending on uh which ending you choose you'll get one of three songs and only one of those songs were made for this game specifically. The other two songs that play are just two songs that were real-world songs before uh, the game. It didn't matter. But one song was made specifically for the game, which, in my opinion, shines a big spotlight on that ending. And that ending is keeping all three alive. And we get a song called The Setup. And Illuminati pointed out something very interesting with that song, and I think it really shines a light, if anything, onto this, uh, onto the situation. So, if you guys want to take a look at this, let's go ahead and play a clip from this video. It's by the Favored Nations, and the song is called "The Setup." And I brought this song up before. I brought it up a lot of times, and most of you may already remember. Uh, this being brought up on the channel for a different reason, though. I brought it up for the whole idea before there was underground tunnels, before there was underground bunkers and stuff like that. Um, the song says, uh, you know, there's a setup, there's a setup, there's a traitor, there's a mole, it's a peacetime overthrow. Gotta get you beat, we won't fall down, we had to get underground. And I was on this big thing about telling everybody, listen, we gotta get underground. There's there's levels under the mountain. There's there's underground tunnels in real life. That's a big Easter egg in real life in Los in the Los Angeles area. Rockstar has to do it. It's part of who they are. They they always parody real life. They're gonna definitely play on the real life secrets. And I was trying to get you guys to bite on this because I was so convinced. And then as time went on, it started to unfold. We started to get underground bunkers. We then had an underground level and different layers of levels underground of Mount Chiliad. And everything that I was saying was was spot on. Like, we have a good group of hunters that are on this channel all the time. And, and I have these guys on here for a reason. We're all, we all know what we're talking about. We've been following this pattern for a while. We understand Rockstar really well. And I think that, uh, you know, together, especially with all the viewers and all you guys that continue to, to, to show up, you guys are dead on, too, with your with your theories, facts, and, and investigations. So that's what I've been saying so long, man. Like, we really need to do this. And then Illuminati 
uh, watch this music video to this song that I've been preaching for so long, and he shows me something new that I never realized before, and it kind of blew me away. So I can't wait to show you guys what's going on right here. We're going to play a little couple of snippets of this video, and then we'll get to the point that... Uh, that I want you guys to see that Illuminati showed me. So basically, we're gonna we're gonna play this, and you guys can see what you guys think here. So let's go ahead and start off the favored nations video, the setup. And it's basically this the whole time through. You have this guy. It's the same guy through the whole video, right? And you even have different things here that 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 kind of with symbolism. They really they really go a far away. And me and Illuminati are going to be bringing this up in the next episode. This clock for sure will be brought up and talked about in the next episode. Um, there's a blindfold on this guy's face at a certain point in time. That's going to be brought up up in the video. The mustaches that seem to be exactly the same mustaches we could buy in the game. They're going to be brought up. Okay, a lot of stuff. Um, especially how Impotent Rage seems to have that same mask. That's something that Illuminati just brought up to me before we went live. Okay, a lot of information that is sounds pretty on the outside, like really quick. But unless you guys know the deeper meanings to this stuff... Uh, you definitely want to stay tuned. Me and Illuminati have done a lot of work on this. Uh, more Illuminati than me, actually. He's been really into the stock thing and really into a lot of the stuff for a while now. So you guys definitely going to want to stay tuned because it's going to get deeper and more in-depth. But we're going to get to the scene that we are uh, focusing on. Um, Illuminati, you were pointing out this scene especially. Uh, where are we here? With this, uh, with this uh, piano or keyboard, uh, you were bringing this up to me a lot. Yeah, yeah, and actually, uh, Roz and Rose, she pointed out to me that this was actually an organ. So I guess it's not going to be slightly different than just any regular piano. Um, an organ is also, uh, could be looked at as a duality, like an organ in the human body has an actual functioning organ. But yeah, they they do really focus on the notes he's playing, which I thought was kind of interesting. Right, and there is uh, eighty-eight keys, right, on a piano. So yeah, that is interesting. Um, now I think the the scene that we're trying to find here is coming up very so yeah, it's coming up yeah. right over here. So, but I mean, you, you got I would like you know think how 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 much of effort does it take to set up, say, a video like this, right? Um, we know Rockstar's past is music and movies, and that's how they started out. Um, but the, the kind of effort it takes to set, say, certain scenes up, I, I think that's, that's one thing you, you really want to think about. Right, right. And, I mean, this video looks like it was quickly made. But when you look at everything that's done in here, they took some specific. They took specific things and really showed you in a symbolic way, and blatantly, if you take the time to look. Um, so it's actually not just whipped together as fast with with no purpose. If you guys really pay attention to it, the words, like I said beforehand, and how it came to pass, the words mean a lot. And so does the actual visuals. Um, let's watch this part right here and what it comes up and leads into. So, Illuminati, you're on. Well, um, I would say, hey, everybody, you know, in the chat, maybe if you want to try and play Scrabble real quick and see what you can come up with. Yeah, what do you guys uh, come up with here? I would love to see what you guys have to say about this. Everything that we've talked about so far, okay, we've all, we've we both, you know, said a couple things about what's, what's going on with the stock market and, and businesses and characters and lyrics and 
We got the setup. Yes. Thank you, Sam Olds. That is correct. We do see the setup in inside of the Scrabble, which is also not restricted to GTA 5. I've been doing a lot of broadcasting lately. There is the setup in GTA 4. There is the setup in Bully. We've been broadcasting both of those games recently. And so far, uh, the setup is not restricted to just GTA 5, so keep that in mind. Rockstar's past is integrated in this. Um... He set up T. I like that, Zmiel. That's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting because what we're going to say, uh, it, yeah, Trippy Dutchman, there you go. You just said it wrong, buddy. You said it wrong, my friend. It's staring you right in the face, guys, right in the middle of the screen. Right here. Do you guys see these three letters? Hold on. Maybe if I show you like this. Uh, you guys will see what I'm saying. Now do you see it? <laughs> oh, do you but see yeah, it? you use uh, all the letters on that Scrabble board. It, it, it'll basically set up the TPE. Or set up the TP. Right. Right. And that's what I love about this. So many people don't utilize um, segregate and rearrange. Everybody just segregates. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Completely wiped it out. Everybody just rearranges. Nobody actually segregates. Rockstar says segregate and rearrange. And that's what I love about Illuminati's find here. Okay. It's not that he uh, just rearranged it. He segregated and rearranged. That means, if you really understand what segregate and rearrange means, it doesn't mean just uh, go ahead and find an anagram for it. Don't just find out what those letters can spell, and that's it. No, you have to actually separate them and rearrange them. There's two things to do, and only 50% of people are doing 50% of what needs to be done. Okay, If not 100% of people that I've seen, hunters that I've seen, channels that I've watched, uh, people that I've talked to, they only rearrange the letters. I've never seen segregating happen. I've never seen anyone reuse the same letters and rearrange them because that would be too much. But that's that's tough shit. That's what Rockstar says to do. Segregate and rearrange. Don't just rearrange because it's easy and it sounds like it's that's what would happen for an Easter egg. No, this fucking shit's still not solved. It's over four years later. What are we doing wrong? Well, I think I have an idea here. Maybe we're not following the fucking instructions. How, how does that sound? Because it, it sounds good to me. And that's exactly what Illuminati did here. He fucking followed the instructions. And that's exactly what I think this says. Illuminati, I really do think you're you're onto something here. Set up the Trevor Phillips um, uh, Enterprises. I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't spit the word out. But honestly, I really think that that's exactly why. Is, why else is TPE right there in the middle like that? That's no fucking coincidence, man. Absolutely oh, not. I know I'm some people off, but yeah, it, it can be Trevor Phillips Enterprises Incorporated. It can be all of those at the same time. I mean, that's kind of what big companies do we know trevor just got to los santos at the beginning of the game he just got there he was trying to set everything up then if you listen to his conversation with ron oh Brittany, it does not say it one time i'm sorry to cut you off but i don't want people to get confused it does not say it one time you have to reuse the letters which means you have to segregate you know what i mean so you got s e t u p so these would all be taken then these are all taken and then you have the so you have to segregate them and then rearrange them. So you also have to use them over. Use the same letter twice. And that's not something that we're accustomed to doing when we look at words. We usually just rearrange them. We don't segregate and rearrange them. So if you reuse the same words in more than one way, you come up with that with that phrase, set up the Trevor Phillips Enterprises. See what I mean? That's that's all I was trying yeah, to point out there. It's also like te, like idiot. Like, you know, like, what are you, what are you thinking? Like, duh. <laughs> right, right, yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, you can continue on what you were saying, man. I just, I just don't want people to, you know, to get misunderstood here. Like, 
You know what I mean? Most right. of the time when we do that, we, we rearrange it and we don't really segregate. We just rearrange or, or type it into an anagram fi- uh, maker and it just rearranges those words. It doesn't actually segregate and reuse the same letters more than once. Once they're used, they're kind of crossed out, if you will. Uh, and that's not what Rockstar says to do. They don't say just just rearrange. They say to segregate and rearrange, and that's what I really like about this. Right. And, and I mean, the... The specific way, you, they had to specifically pick out those letters and put them on that board while they're on this guy's back. Exactly. I mean, that that can't just be a coincidence. No. It, it can't be. No, absolutely not. Like, there's a reason for it. He's got, like you said, it goes from the keyboard or, or the piano or the organ to the guy with the gun with the with the mask on. Okay, it's all the same guy. But he's dressed up differently in every scene. He's playing every part just like we do. Just like you said it to me. You said it just like that to me off camera. Like we play every single part in the game. But we might be a different character. But we're still playing the same part. But it's still us playing, right? And uh, It's essentially, yeah, he is essentially us in, in a lot of ways than one. Exactly. And, and then the- you got him playing the key piano, right? We got 88 keys on a piano. You got him wearing the blindfold with the cowboy. That's another take on Red Dead Redemption, but also on what's currently happening in the game. And then he's on the floor on his stomach, and you got the Scrabble board on his back with those specific, uh, you know, letters put in specific places. And if you think about it, guys. This is the song that plays at the end of the game. You just beat the game. Think about this. You just beat the fucking game. What are you setting up for? You should be done. This should be the intro song of the friggin' game if there was nothing else to think about. But you just beat the game and you're being set up? What are you being set up for? Well, a lot of the stuff we were right with, with the underground uh, bases and all the stuff that we've already mentioned, but now, what else can we do in single player, though? What else can we do with the different characters, okay? The different characters that you see, like this guy, like this guy, like this guy. Okay, in single player, what are we set up for? T P. E. T. P. E. And isn't it funny that you can buy businesses with Trevor and you can go ahead and do something that actually changes stuff and that is with the entire stock market. I think that there's a lot to think about here and a lot to test here, guys. And I really think that as these episodes go on and continue on with me and Illuminati, with everything we're going to bring up, You'll see why the peyotes make a lot of sense and why they're important. As this is a song, they are uh, there's sounds that we hear with the peyotes. And Trevor, so far, is the common denominator between all of these videos. And you'll see as episode four, five, and six come out, how things are really going to start making a lot more sense. If you're a little confused on stuff right now, or you're not really sold, no pun intended, just stick with us, guys, because we do have some stuff. That is going to definitely make you guys really, really intrigued. If anything else, definitely know what we're talking about. Illuminati, do you have anything else and, that you want to bring up? Yeah. Um. And, and one of the things is, you know, during that last mission, one of the last things you're doing before you hear that song is you're Trevor and you're driving Devin West and his death. And he's pleading for his life. And the one thing that really stands out when he's talking to you and trying to hire you is you say to him, no, I'm sorry, but I think the CEO position is about to be open real soon. And that's at the end of the game. I mean, if that's not like one of the biggest little clues they could give you. Yeah. Maybe, is a maybe, this was cut. maybe they did cut it out. You know, maybe they're trying to migrate it to online. I don't know. It's, you know, but it's a good question to, to be asking, I think. Yeah, it is. It's a great point to brought up, to be brought up. And out of everything, man, that song, to, to have it that song, uh, have it make sense with, it really is something to think about. And guys, you know, people that are not believing or thinking it's crazy, 
go back to my hour-long video on the underground tunnels where I talked about how there's bases underground and how Chiliad has multi-levels underground and all the people that gave me shit and how you're crazy and all this stuff and how I was talking about Smuggler's Run and all that shit and everyone was like, oh my god, there's no connections and, and then we have Smuggler's Run. Okay, all, all this stuff that you guys... That, that people, I'm not gonna say you guys, because you guys, I don't think are, are are here watching anymore. It's the it's the people that didn't believe. They all they all stopped listening. Stopped. They thought it was craziness and, and lunacy to go outside the game with outside references. And they gave me so much shit. But where are they now? So why can't uh, why can't they come here and let me show them now all the stuff that they were wrong on that was proven right on this stuff? You know what I mean? So many of the videos I've talked about have been proven right. And I'm not just trying to say, oh, I'm all glorious and wonderful. I'm saying that the people I associate with and myself, we got the pattern down. We see what's going on here, and we're just trying to get more people on board because there is still a lot of testing needed. And I understand that, you know, you have to show the proof in the pudding for people to want to eat the pudding. So that's what these episodes are doing. They're, they're showing you that. And as they get... Uh, further into the progression of these episodes, like as these episodes, you know, get to four, five, and six, like I said, you're gonna really start to see more and more, uh, without a doubt, uh, proof of how this stuff makes a lot of sense and how Rockstar did go crazy with this game. And uh, just stick with it, guys. Stay tuned. Have some faith. Trust in your friends and your fellow hunters. And together, guys, maybe we can unite as a unit and one day solve this Chilean mystery. Illuminati, thank you once again, man, for joining up for another Missing Links episode. We gotta do another one soon, as we have a whole shitload of information still sitting there waiting to come out, man. We gotta, we gotta get this shit out there. Yeah, hey, thanks for having me, and hey, thanks for, you know, all the other little, well, all the other people trying to help me out with this. This is just, this is crazy. Um, I felt like, uh, yeah, I don't know, this is watching this video over and over, just trying to see like way that they can't be really saying what it says, you know. Sorry for all the, the craziness the last few days. <laughs> oh, it's cool, man. You were breaking up a little bit, but I hope I hope that it wasn't too bad. Hopefully you guys can hear what he was saying. Um, but yeah, man, it's totally appreciated and uh, you're always welcome on the show. And uh, we'll see you soon for another episode. It's always a good time. Um, and hopefully you guys all stick uh, stick together on the hunt. Don't give up. The mystery will be solved one day as we continue our search for it. And uh, the truth will come to a close. So guys, until next time, take it easy. Ta-ta. And as mother fucking always. Nothing good, friend. Nothing good. You're telling me. The elite are out to crush the little man. And the little man says raise taxes. As if that ever did anyone any good or did anything apart from take the dollar in your pocket and smear it with shit. I never pay taxes. Then you're a true American. Mm, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm from, uh, from Canada. We're in this together. We're fighting the government and the vested interest. We're trying to keep the dollar and keep its value through a unique investment strategy. Check out www.iwillsurviveitall.com for more information. Okay? And don't shut your mind to the reality that this country wants you dead. You Trust me. Trust me that much. We got you I do not.
Kill that punk! Looks like the whole place is gone!